Hi guys. Last week I was invited to a very special performance of The Grinning Man at London's Trafalgar Studios, helping to raise money for the Theatre Mad charity. Unfortunately, I was unable to go myself because I am living in Paris now, but I've once again teamed up with the wonderful YouTuber Grace Cow through the stage door, who went along on my behalf to have a chat with some of the special guests who were there to see what they thought of the show. Let's take a look. It's a, it's a thing of wonderment. It's an absolute thing of wonderment. I, am, I mean, I don't go to musicals a lot, but yeah. uh, this is a, a kind of extraordinary adventure into the to a dark psyche, but uh, it's unbelievably creative, and the space that they're actually working on yeah. defies logic or it's belief. It's amazing, yeah. And, uh, people are, I don't know where they're coming from or how they're doing it, but sometimes the, the place is jammed with characters. Uh, it's very funny, it's very fast, it's very witty. The music is driving it along, and I'm having a fantastic time. Um, I think everyone should come and see the show because it's got a little bit of everything. It's sad, it's funny, it's... Uh, like that slapstick sort of comedy yeah. it's it's literally got every aspect and the puppetry is phenomenal in the show as well the what they do with it is so so clever it's insane it's louis 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 yeah. amazing voice amazing set amazing story yeah. it's just yeah great show i just think it's apt it's like weirdly incredible like the, the puppetry and yeah. it's just so clever and you kind of don't know what's going on, but you're so fascinated. Like I've, I haven't taken a breath this whole time. Like yeah. it's, it's literally incredible. Every, really everyone cool. should see it, definitely. definitely. Yeah. It's really not like anything I've seen before. Like Jade said, I'm a bit like confused of what's actually going on and what, what the punchline at the end is yeah, going to be yeah. and what, the, what they're actually trying to make us feel because um, obviously you see the grinning man and that was quite like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. quite weird. But I love like circusy kind of things yeah, anyway. Yeah. So the set, the costumes, everything's so... Like circus and old fashioned, um, but it's funny. It's funny it's as well. Yes, yeah. it's hysterically yeah. funny. Really cool. The cast, yeah. the cast are literally incredible. amazing. Yeah. And incredible. the lead guy's voice is oh. just really, really. It's cool. beyond. It's beyond. So people should definitely come and see it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Well, it's not like anything else in the West <laughs> at yeah. the moment, to be honest. There was so much to take in. Uh, it's extraordinary. It's, it's it's beautiful and it's ugly and it's funny and it's sad. It's um quite unique actually yeah, I, I, didn't, really I didn't know what to expect yeah. but it's very um traditional storytelling yeah. at its heart yeah yeah it reminds me of um a production of shock-headed peter that used to be on at the piccadilly theater about 15 20 years ago uh -huh. it kind of appeals to the slightly macabre in you yeah you it, know? Really does. It, really it really does it really does yeah but the puppetry the uh the singing the mm. the characterization it's all just wonderful yeah, yeah. it's beautiful isn't it's it? just very very unique yeah, yeah because it's incredibly unique and it's fantastic in its story and its meaning and oh my god the talent involved is incredible yeah yeah, yeah. and i think like, it, it's different from anything else in the west end at the moment because there's exactly. no puppet and it's yeah. full of puppetry and it's stunning oh. absolutely stunning i haven't seen puppetry like this for yonks yeah. Yeah. not since i went to see punch and judy at the seaside <laughs> Amazing. It's definitely better than Punch and Judy. But <laughs> also, like, at the heart of it, there's this really moving story. Yeah. And, you know, we're just finished Act One, we have no idea where it's going to go. Yeah. And yeah. that's what's exciting. It's like, where's it going to go now? And I was really blown away, actually. Um, I think that it, uh, the, the Grinning Man, it depicts what is so beautiful about British theatre. It has um, the darkness, it has comedy, it has heart. It has um, just the, the, the absolute grace and class that the British theatre has yeah. um, with the design and the music. And, you know, it's not, it's not your typical musical theatre yeah. um, moment, mm -hmm. um, but it is a beautiful story being told yeah. beautifully yeah. with beautiful visuals and um, beautiful acting, beautiful singing. It's, it's, it, it is really, as if you can, um, you know, for something that seems so dark and seems so... Um, so sort of viscerally sort of um, awkward. Um, it has the absolute beauty that I love to see in the Good. theatre. And I, um, yeah, I was, I, 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 I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. I, I hadn't really seen anything about it. Um, my friend Louis is, is a grinning man, so I came to see him and um, was not let down there, yeah. you know, and also with the rest of the cast as well. Um, they are just telling the most beautiful story. Um, the, be the most beautiful way and yeah. um, with a beautiful vision so I don't think I can say beautiful enough um, <laughs> that's so that's what that it. yeah um, but we need a lot of beauty in our we lives do, right now we I mean really do. you know the show I'm doing is 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 really comedy and really funny yeah but this has got 
um, a depth and a grit that yeah, is, is just what British theatre needs. Wow, sounds like a great show. Uh, I am back in London later this week. I'm definitely going to go and try it and check it out. I will put a link in the description below to where you can buy tickets if you want to go and see it as well. I will also put a link in the description below to Grace's uh, review of the show on her channel where you can find out more about the show itself. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It costs you nothing, but it will make me very happy.